so many fathers lack the basic like um, language to even use to talk to their kids and boys or girls about this subject matter. And I think a lot of men as a result, men who are fathers or mentors to young men, guardians and others, um, they defer to women because they're so filled with anxiety themselves and they don't really feel like they can articulate some of this stuff. And I have to say, a lot of adult men are conflicted about their own use of porn and their own sort of confusion about their own heterosexuality. So they're, they just, I think a lot of them are filled, these are adult men, a lot of them are filled with anxiety such that they don't feel like they're in a position to provide that kind of guidance or ethical and moral sort of teaching around this particular subject beyond, you know, platitudes like treat others with respect and always make sure that you're protected and these kind of basics. Where do boys learn moral selfhood? Where do they learn, you know, ethical decision making about treating each other and themselves with respect and dignity, whether that's sexually or any other way? I don't think that there's a lot of places in the culture that boys are being taught sexual selfhood in, a, in an ethical way in the porn culture, in the pornified culture that we live in. But I think the, the larger frame here is not just about porn, it's about ethical decision making and how they treat other people. So you could say that, yeah, there are places where boys and girls and everybody else is being taught, um, you know, ethical behavior. You don't bully other people, you don't mistreat other people. But as it's specifically applied to the, you know, sexual realm, I, I, I think we're really, really failing as a society to provide those spaces for boys or for girls.